Shamari Leggett was charged with the murder of Chicago Police Commander Paul Bauer, a 31-year veteran of the Chicago Police Department. The commander was a leader in the department and a devoted father and husband. This case is truly tragic and disheartening to the entire city, the Chicago Police Department, Bauer's family, and loved ones. Today, the defendant had his bond hearing where he was ordered held in custody without bail, and I will now give you a brief summary of the facts of the case. On February 13, 2018, at approximately 1.30 p.m., Chicago police officers patrolling Lower Wacker Drive in response to recent drug sales and a shooting that had occurred prior in that area approached the defendant to conduct a field interview. A police officer got out of his police vehicle, told the defendant that he was a police officer, and approached the defendant. The defendant then fled as police officers chased the defendant and radioed a description of the defendant to other officers. Paul Bauer, a 31-year veteran of the Chicago Police Office Department and commander of the 18th Police District, was in the loop in the morning for a training session at the Thompson Center. Commander Bauer was in full uniform with an outer civilian style coat. The commander was in his police vehicle when he heard the radio communication regarding the defendant fleeing. Shortly thereafter, Commander Bauer saw the defendant running nearby. Commander Bauer got out of his car and chased the defendant. Commander Bauer continued to chase the defendant as the defendant ran across Clark Street and towards the Thompson Center. Commander Bauer caught up to the defendant at the top of the stairwell outside of the Thompson Center. Commander Bauer tried to detain the defendant at the top of the stairs as the defendant struggled. The defendant then stumbled down the stairs and Commander Bauer either fell or followed the defendant down the stairs. Based on the physical evidence, Commander Bauer and the defendant continued to struggle on the lower landing. The defendant drew a gun and fired seven shots at Commander Bauer. Commander Bauer suffered six separate gunshot wounds to his head, neck, torso, back, and wrist. Commander Bauer died as a result of these injuries. Commander Bauer's weapon was holstered and secured when his body was found. Commander Bauer's police radio and handcuffs were on the ground next to his body. Seconds after the shooting, police officers arrested the defendant in the stairwell and police recovered a loaded 9mm handgun with an extended clip from the defendant's coat pocket. Police also recovered cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and a sharp object from the defendant. The defendant was wearing a ballistic vest at the time of his arrest. Numerous law enforcement and civilian witnesses saw Commander Bauer chase the defendant, heard the shots, and saw the defendant coming up the stairs after the shooting and observed Commander Bauer laying on the lower landing after having been shot. Three civilian witnesses identified the defendant in a lineup as the individual who struggled with Commander Bauer at the top of the stairs and was arrested and captured and brought up from the stairwell after the shooting. In addition, surveillance video captured Commander Bauer chasing the defendant the struggle between the defendant and Commander Bauer and officers arresting the defendant after the shooting. The defendant's right hand and coat tested positive for the presence of gunshot residue. I would like to thank the many Chicago police officers and detectives and other law enforcement partners who worked tirelessly with our prosecutors to bring these charges. I have assigned a team of veteran prosecutors including John Maher and Risa Lanier to handle this case. The state's attorney's office is committed to prosecuting this case to the fullest extent of the law as we seek justice for Commander Bauer and the citizens of the city of Chicago. Thank you.